In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some unique looking text. This is basically just parallel rows of running stitches. Uh, someone asked me how to accomplish this, and when I worked up the sample that you're looking on the screen, uh, I asked if anybody else would like to know how to do this, and I got uh, quite a few people wanted to see. So the easiest way is to make a video so you can see how it's done. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to hide this image because that's this is just an image of the sample that I, I had earlier. And we're going to drop in some text. Now this is going to be a running stitch font. So we're going to use just the word test and I'm going to place it on the screen so you can see it well. And there it is. This font is, I believe, Embassy Running Stitch. Before I want to, I'm going to basically duplicate this and with uh, an offset. And before I do that, though, I want to split the text to characters. The reason I'm going to split it to characters is because I'm going to want to remerge later on to make sure that the letters sew without any kind of tr excess trims and stuff. So we're going to right click in the block edit mode, split block, split text to characters. That's sort of like an ungroup process that you see in other uh, graphics programs. We're going to switch back to select mode. We're just going to select all the letters. We're going to right click and select contour duplicate. Now, contour duplicate isn't in all levels of the software. If you don't have, once you select text, if you right click and you say, I don't have contour duplicate, you have too low of a level of software. So we're going to contour duplicate and I'm going to put about a four tenth of a millimeter offset. Okay. And if you look, we're going to click OK. And then I'm going to zoom in so we can see this well. You see now I have par two parallel rows. From this point, we can contour duplicate and we can do it again. You see? And maybe. Now it doesn't really matter if you do inside or outside. Um, I'm just choosing that. Now because I did outside, you see that my T started crowding my ES but we'll just move those a little bit later. This is the reason I split the text to characters. You see I have TTT. What I want to do is I want to regroup these for simplicity's sake. So I'm going to go back to select, grab the first T, hold down my shift key, and grab the last T. All four selected, right click, and merge. And I have one T. And then you could actually click and drag like this. Merge. Merge and merge. So now we have four rows. And once I merge, I can easily click on this T using the four key on the number pad. I'm going to nudge this away. Remember, the four key moves left, the six key moves right, the eight key moves up, and the two key moves down. We're going to bring this one over. We're going to bring both of these over like this. And there you have it. That's how you create this effect.